Hey guys, so today I got the old Famicom box out and flipping through some of the cards. We have a lot of neat stuff coming out this week from Nintendo. The Switch is going to be releasing a uh, uh, few arcade ports. And let's see what we got here. Not Yoshi's Cookie, but Mario Brothers, the original one. It's going to be $7.99 uh, on the Switch. But here I got the original Famicom for around 4 bucks. Really solid gameplay. We're going to take a minute to check it out and see and see if we're gonna be looking forward to it on the switch so let's go on and play boy did I play a lot of Mario as a kid I recall one of my babysitters actually having an NES at their house and having a few different games unfortunately their console was very well used and I spent quite a bit of time just trying to get the darn games to play and that involved kind of having the little pop-in effect where you take the cart and you kind of have it just on the edge and then you pop it down, you blow on the cart, you jiggle it, um, you wish for any luck at all so after about 10 to 15 minutes you get the game to play. Well you better enjoy that game because if you switch it out with anything else be ready to have to spend another 10 to 15 minutes getting the next game to play. Um, as far as my game console, I never had that issue, but literally everyone else's in the whole world NES's did not work right. Which proves why it's so important to keep your carts clean. My Famicom um, carts run perfectly on my Retron. I know some Retrons can be quite fussy. Just take the time, clean them out, and then make sure when you put them in, put them in evenly. But I love the gameplay of this. It takes a little practice to get used to it. Um, I'm a bit rusty, so it took a little bit of being able to kind of get that muscle memory that you do need to build up the momentum and how you kind of slide a little bit here and there. Really a great game, a lot of fun. And I couldn't figure out how many phases there are on this. Apparently the story of this game is you're Mario and you're in the sewers of New York City, so there you are. These are what the Japanese think our sewers are like. And Probably pretty close there. And we're just taking out all of our crabs, our turtles, and weird hoppy flies that make funny sounds. And the sewers are full of rolling coins. Pretty good. One of the things that I enjoyed about this game was it was very straightforward. Uh, unfortunately, it's I wasn't able to gain any extra lives, so I cheated a little bit. And on my Retron, I just kind of did some save states here and there. So, just like in the arcade where you just pop another quarter in, I just did a save state, so if I ran out of lives, I was able to keep going. Um, I kept playing until I hit around phase 25 and then decided I needed to take a break. I was cooking dinner at the same time, so it was kind of nice being able to play a level, pause it, go stir, and then come back. It's a game that you can pick up and go, put down. Nothing too involved, and a lot of fun. So, I just wanted to take a couple minutes just to talk about an old game, and I'm definitely looking forward to it coming out on the Switch. Not so sure how I feel about that $8 price tag for just a really basic um, arcade game, but it's kind of all how you play it and who you play it with. So, if it's something that you get a lot of enjoyment out of and would like to play it on a more modern console, it's not like there's any spectacular upgrades in the graphics, it's just a straightforward uh, arcade port definitely going to be a lot of fun and maybe check it out. Well, that's all I got to say about old Mario Brothers. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll definitely, well, see you guys next time. Have a good one.